15 Things You Didn't Know About Netflix Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Greetings ALUXers and welcome back to ALUX.com on YouTube. Relatively a newcomer to the entertainment industry, Netflix has quickly become one of the largest entertainment juggernauts of our time. Making billions in annual revenue and ranking 15th on Forbes' most innovative companies list. Netflix is a modern success story with a lot going on. Alux.com is proud to bring you 15 things you didn't know about Netflix. Number 1. Netflix is the 79th most valuable brand in the world. The film and television giant that is Netflix boasts an annual revenue of approximately $7.15 billion. The company almost boasts a market capitalization of $41.1 billion. Although it has yet to break the top 1,000 for global sales and assets, Netflix does claim a spot in the top 500 of America's best employers, with approximately 3,500 employees. All of this is thanks to Netflix's approximate 100 million worldwide users. Number 2. Netflix is 20 years old. The company was founded on August 29th of 1997 in the town of Scotts Valley, California. Netflix was found by Mark Randolph and Reed Hastings. Mark Randolph served as CEO of Netflix till 1999 when he handed control over to Reed Hastings. Mark Randolph also worked with Mitch Lowe on a concept called Netflix Express, a rental kiosk service. This idea was rejected by Hastings and Mitch Lowe turned this idea into Redbox. Number 3. Netflix almost went out of business. Netflix first introduced the business model of flat fee, unlimited rentals without due dates or other fees. However, a year later, Netflix negotiated an acquisition offer with Blockbuster for $50 million. The offer was rejected, and two years later, Netflix began the public sale of stock to raise funds for the company. Selling over 6 million shares of stock at $15 per share in 2002, that would help set up Netflix for greatness in the coming years. Posting a profit of $6.5 million in 2003 and growing those revenues to $272 million by 2005. Number 4. Netflix earned the first Emmy nomination for a digital-only TV series. In July of 2013, three of Netflix's original series received Emmy nominations. The shows nominated were Arrested Development, Hemlock Grove, and House of Cards. The House of Cards episode, titled Chapter One, won the award for Outstanding Cinematography for a Single Camera Series. This award also made Chapter One the first webisode to win an Emmy award. Not the only award Netflix has bragging rights over, as both the shows House of Cards and Orange is the New Black have been honored with Peabody Awards. Number 5. The most Netflix original series with the highest budget is The Crown. A period drama following the early years of Queen Elizabeth II's role as a monarch to the British royal family, the series cost Netflix an estimated $130 million a season. In contrast, the highly praised and award-winning House of Cards has a budget of approximately $30 million a season. This seasonal budget for The Crown not only makes it the most costly Netflix original series, it also makes the series the most costly television show ever produced. Number 6. Only 4 countries are without Netflix services. As of January of 2016, Netflix is available worldwide, with four exceptions. The countries of mainland China, Syria, North Korea, and Crimea are the only four countries which are without Netflix services in the world. Due to the international usage of Netflix, the service is officially available in 18 languages. With this massive availability, it's no wonder Netflix has grown to nearly 100 million users. Number 7. Netflix is the 43rd most popular website in the world. If you condensed all of the different Google sites together, Netflix rank rises to 32nd. With an average of 10 billion hours of viewed content in a month, it's no wonder Netflix is rising in the global ranks. The average Netflix user gets all of its content at an amazing value of 20 cents per hour of content viewed. These millions of users from across the globe has allowed Netflix to invest $6 billion for original content shows in 2017. 
Number eight, Netflix studies internet pirates. Internet pirates share data with each other through services such as BitTorrent and the Pirate Bay. These sites allow users to share protected intellectual property often outside the bounds of the law. It's estimated that these pirates cost the film industry approximately $20.5 billion annually. Netflix studies the trends of videos with high piracy rates and uses that data to adjust the film and television shows available to users of Netflix. Number 9. Netflix has thousands of genres. Over 75,000 different genres and growing are available to any Netflix user. To access these so-called micro-genres, a user needs to change their URL to what's on the screen now. These micro-genres include understated independent thrillers and gritty military movies from the 1980s. Some of these are considered test genres and contain no titles. Browsing through these odd genres give us a glimpse of the minds behind Netflix and what we may expect in the future. Number 10. Reed Hastings is worth $1.7 billion. The co-founder of and the current CEO of Netflix, Reed Hastings, may not rank in the top 500 wealthiest people in the world, but a self-made $1.7 billion is something to be tremendously proud of. However, Reed has had a tendency to get political with his money, which has to cause some backlash against him. In one example, Reed donated $1 million to a committee supporting Jack O'Connell for governor of California in 2010. Number 11. Primetime Affects Video Quality As more and more Netflix users primarily watch via online, streaming spikes in viewers during a specific time of day can affect the image quality of the videos. The time of day with the highest traffic for Netflix is between the hours of 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. This phenomenon isn't restricted to this time of day, and you may have noticed a drop in quality during days with bad weather as well. Number 12. Netflix functions on the cloud. Not just any cloud either. Netflix completed moving its services from a series of data centers to cloud computing in January of 2016. The process took approximately seven years to complete, with Netflix moving several petabytes. A petabyte is approximately 1 billion megabytes of data. Much of this information was sensitive customer data, which had to be handled extremely delicately. However, Netflix is not unaware of the risks of cloud computing and has a series of monkey and ape named virtual tools dubbed the Netflix Simian Army. These tools simulate cloud service outages from one random virtual machine failure to replicating the failure across global region. Number 13. Netflix DVD to door services operates almost in secret. The trucks used to transport the massive collections of films are undercover. Don't bother looking for a warehouse full of discs either because the locations are hidden and employees are barred from sharing location information. Netflix claims that this effort is to ensure people don't try to drop off old DVDs at the warehouse or worse, try to rob a warehouse of its collection. Number 14. Netflix employees are treated very well. Employees get the bonus of a free account as a perk of working for Netflix, as well as an impressive starting wage of approximately $18 an hour in the call center. A perk saw in few, if any, other employers are that Netflix employees are allowed as much time off as they want as long as their work doesn't suffer, and it's arranged ahead of time. It's no wonder Netflix ranks in America's top 500 employers. Number 15. You can get paid to watch videos at home. Perhaps one of the most sought after positions available in the world is provided by Netflix. Netflix employs individuals to watch content at home. The only catch is labeling the viewed content with keywords from a pool of provided words. The process helps Netflix sort its massive content collection into its thousands of genres and gives the company the ability to suggest certain titles to a specific target audience. Netflix continues to grow, expand, and shape how people watch their favorite shows and movies. The newest move for Netflix is producing its own reality TV-like shows. The leadership at Netflix is aiming for more international subscribers and believes that reality TV will be the way to bring in more subscribers. Are you one of Netflix's millions of users? Let us know about your favorite show to binge watch in the comments below. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. As a reward, here's a bonus fact. Did you know in 2014, Netflix had an issue with a bug that would cause descriptions of different content to merge together? Many of the results were nonsensical and downright hilarious. 
Thank you for spending some time with us, Alexers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on social media or ask us questions on our website at alex.com. Thank you for being an Alexer.